Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I'm going to try doing another one that uses the treadmill oil on top of it after it's been stretched. And this is the idea that I came up with. I have these teeny weeny little bottles that I get got from Wish and they have the little teeny spouts, metal spout on them. And so I'm thinking if I drop it, it won't be, well, it'll be pretty big. <laughs> Unless I just let it drip off the end. It's still gonna be kind of big. But anyway, we will see. Hmm, hadn't tried that until just then. <laughs> and of course, I may have told you, but I use the Lifespan brand treadmill belt lubricant because it's really thin. And I think I paid about $18 for this last year, but I'm not even, I've just used a little over an ounce in a year. So I don't know if my paints are mixed th thick enough. Uh, some of them are kind of thin coming out of the bottle in these brands and so they may not be as thick as I would like for them to be. And also I'm running low on Floetrol, so I didn't put very much Floetrol. This is like one-to-one -one Floetrol, if not less, um, in all of them except the black. So my colors are Chroma Molten Metals in the copper color. This one is Folk Art Metallic Rose Gold. And I need to get my lights better down here. This one is Anita's Pearl Pink. It's that bright pink that's so pretty. So they're all in the same family. I don't know how they'll turn out. It's just an experiment, so I'm not too worried about it. But I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not putting down a base coat. Um, I shouldn't need but about two, three ounces for this little 10 by 10. Um, I may put a little, that's slicky. Put a little bit of black in between some of this. Not a whole lot. Didn't put a whole lot in the cup. Probably just do a flip cup on this one. I think I'm only gonna go, well, I don't really have enough to go three rounds, to go three layers, I don't think. So, let's go two. That's what I did before, I still got cells that were different colors. That's why I'm thinking maybe I should go three layers of paint, is to see if I get those color inside of color inside of color ones, ring inside of ring. So cute. That rose gold is a pretty color. Knock everything over here. Put my little thing, my little bottle up there and get to it. So I think I have enough. Tried not to mix way too much paint this time have a habit of doing that sometimes. So, that black over there. So I hope y'all having a good day. It's Sunday. I did all kinds of housework yesterday and carried a bunch of paintings down to the basement that needed to come down here. And I have gotten started varnishing some. I got two layers of varnish on probably about 15 or 20, I think last weekend, and I need to finish those up. And I had planned that for today, but it didn't get done. Um, 
because I had family stuff to do this morning, so it was like 2 o'clock before I even thought about doing anything else. Copper is really showing up. some lacing on there that's really pretty. Get back over there, paint. Man, that was so many cells, I don't need to try the silicone. But I'll try it anyway in a couple of places, just so we know. Look at that cluster of cells up there. That's that rose gold that did that. That's a lot of cells. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I'm not going for cells that way. Paint. <laughs> oh, guarantee if I was, I wouldn't get them. You know how the paint is. Has a mind of its own. I did not put any water in these paints, none whatsoever. So. Come on paint, come on down. Those cells are gonna turn into lacing now from stretching. Okay, a lot coming off down here even though I was tilting the other way. Okay, well, this is pretty. <laughs> oh me. Trying to think, now where would I drop some silicone? I could drop it right in there. That's about the only place I can think of that looks decent. Hope y'all were able to see that. I moved my whole camera set up. I'm trying to get back now the way it needs to be for these, for this table. And hopefully you all were able to see that because I have the phone turned the other way. So it makes it where I can't watch it as it's happening. So that's because of the kind of phone holder that's on the thing. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get down close. Just let it drop off. That it's gonna make a big one.
I'm not squeezing it at all. I'm gonna do one up here because it looks like we've got different colors under the bottom. Right in that area. And maybe one up here. I'm gonna put the top on it because I have a tendency to get going and not know when to stop. These are big and they're having, um, they're bringing up like that copper ring or that rose gold ring inside of there. This one looks like the copper. And this one is black with some copper. So this was fun. I sure didn't expect all these cells and spots and dots and I had no idea. <laughs> I've never used this combination of paints. And I've got Anita's mixed with folk art, mixed with chroma. And then my black, which is the Louisiana paint, which has the satin finish to it. So, it's interesting. Let's see if y'all can see that. See those two right there? Those are the ones that I dropped. This one looks funny. It's one I dropped. And then there's, oh, let me see, that one. Can't see it. Where is it? Can't see it. It's so dark you can't see it. So, okie dokie. I'm going to take the camera down and give you all a close-up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And everything is going good and that you're in good health. Because if you have your health, you have everything. Thanks so much. Well, I just took the camera down. I didn't even do anything and so they've already spread out. So these are some really weird looking cells. Um, it's like cells inside of cells. And not the round ring type, it's the bubble type. And there's that one that I dropped up there. And it really looks bubbly. And then this one up here, it looks like flowers. Now if you want something that looks like flowers, and I didn't even squeeze on that, that was just dropping. If you probably, if you squeezed on a little bit, you probably would get uh, bigger flowers. And don't forget, now this paint was thinner. It wasn't the thick kind. It was more like you'd make for a ring pour. But that's how it turned out. And I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know if I'm going to add, I don't think I'm going to add any more. And I'm just going to watch these and see how they grow. <laughs> see how my flowers grow. Thanks so much for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Please come back and spend a little time with me and see what it is that I come up with because every single one is an experiment. Well, I won't be using that anymore. <laughs> Look how big they got. They got big. I brought them upstairs. I answered a couple messages on Facebook Messenger and now they've bloomed. So... I think I'm gonna have to come up with something else. I think the thin paint was really a problem though. So I'm gonna have to try it again in that bottle with a thicker paint. So thanks for watching.